All right, guys, what is going on? It is time for my tech bag dump. This bag is awesome. Let me just get it out of the way. This freaking thing is unbelievably awesome. And um, I guess we're just gonna talk about it. So first, it, it's the uh, VanQuest Trident 31. And yeah, I mean, I've had the Trident 20 for the longest, right? But look how tiny. So I outgrew it with all my uh, stuff that I have nowadays. But this thing, guys, it's just unbelievable. So that's what we're gonna talk about, why I switched to this thing and uh, what I keep inside it. I could've went with any number of amounts of bags, right? I could've went with a regular camera bag. There's other, you know, like just camera bags. But this bag, the VanQuest bag, and even the Trident 20, the, th the smaller version, um, they, they really meet the needs for people who carry firearms as well as like have camera equipment and stuff like that. So that's pretty much why I went with this. And also I needed a bigger one to fit my laptop. That was a huge deal for me. The Trident 20 was barely fitting my 15-inch uh, Retina uh, MacBook Pro in there. So I needed something uh, bigger. And this bag just met all the needs. So that's, that's pretty much why I went with this one. Um, you know, I like to carry other gear as far as firearms, knives, um, you know, maybe different tools for work, uh, some art supplies once in a while when I'm doing art, when I have art stuff I gotta do, um, like different pens and pencils and markers and, and stuff like that. So, um, and then also a little bit of survival gear, gear uh, medical kit and um, some extra magazines and ammo, although I think I mentioned that. And it's got a great CCW compartment. So I don't utilize all those things at the same time, but it's, I, I needed something that had options. And uh, this is the bag that met all those options all at once. And um, it's just probably one of the most well-made backpacks that, that I've known of. I mean, I've had the Trident 20 for years. And um, that thing doesn't even have a tear in it anywhere in sight. And it, I put that thing through the Rutgers big time. So let's just dive into the specs of this real quick. And then we'll, we'll dump it out. All right, guys. So let's just hit some of the specs on this real quick. Um, it's made out of... 1000 Denier Cordera N500D. So I'm guessing like some of that would probably be the bottom would be the heavier and some of the top would be uh, 1000 Denier. I'm not sure which one is which or, or whatever, but <clears throat> that's what it says on the uh, little pamphlet. I'll, also, I'll leave the link so you guys can check out the all the specs, but I'll just go over some of them real quick. It's got this awesome neoprene grab handle. It's really, really nice, and you can see how it's box stitched six ways from none. I mean, this bag is just hooked up. Oh, the best of the best you can get. Um, it's got the laser cut. Uh, I'm not sure. I forget what this kind of molly is called, this new kind of molly they use, but it's look at how it's just stitched really nicely. It's got these little keepers for the zippers, all YKK zippers with little grab handle loops that make it really easy to pull and open. Um, like I said, YKK zippers that are reversible, so it keeps them, they just last forever. You'll never have a problem. You'll never have to replace this bag. I mean, honestly, if, if you don't cut it and rip it like with a knife or something, uh, this bag will last you forever. Uh, has the water bladder holders and all that stuff and it's got the uh, whistle here that's built into it that's super freaking loud whistle I'll try to see if I have footage of me blowing that I'm not sure it's got these cinches you can cinch it down and uh, for heavier loads you can cinch that strap down really nicely it did come with a waist belt though I took it off the waist belt actually just ran through my old Trident, but that's what the waist belt looks like. And uh, it's it's designed like that with the with the stitching like that, so it's able to distribute the weight evenly around your hips. It's really nice and it has a quick release to, to tighten it as well. So you just basically are gonna, if you have the bag on, you're just gonna pull those forward and that's gonna tighten up that, it makes it real easy. So, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier about the tripod, one of the bigger features in this is the water bottle holder. Uh, probably won't be using it for that. It's more or less a tripod holder for me. Uh, whether it's my bigger tripod here, the Ranger, or my smaller Gorillapod, 
Uh, it fits on, it'll fit whether or I want to carry on both or whatever it is. Uh, it's got the little keepers on for the straps so you don't have straps hanging. I mean, it's just so well thought out, just everything about it. And then obviously the big, big plus is the interior that's ripstop nylon inside there. Uh, and it's orange, so it just makes it real easy to see at nighttime or, you know, with a black bag especially. I mean, that just looks super dope with all that, so. Just some quick specs. Like I said, I'll leave the uh, link so you can really check that out. But um, it's all the top of the line, best of the best of everything you can possibly put on a backpack. This has it. Okay, so getting into this bigger pocket here, this pocket is really cool, this one that's right here, um, because you can access everything from the side, kind of like a sling pack. So if you have the bag on, you can pretty much have it something like this. And uh, I'll throw some B-roll in it of me accessing this, but you can just pretty much just open it up like that and uh, open it up and, and get into whatever you need to get into. So... In this part of the bag, uh, I keep my, this is where I keep all of this stuff like this. Right here in your laptop sleeve, I keep my 15 inch MacBook Pro and it fits in there really nice and I even think I'm going to have a um, case on this soon and it'll still fit in there. So some of these other pockets, like once in a while, like up in here, I don't have anything in here now. But sometimes I'll, this is where I'll generally keep my lens uh, for my camera if it's not actually attached to the camera, which is what I'm using to film this. I carry, uh, use a Canon M50, um, so it fits in this bag nice, the lens fits in here nice. I don't have any bigger lenses yet, but once I do, this bag will be able to hold them easily in any number of these pockets. Um, so yeah, the laptop sleeve works great. Now, for my laptop on the bottom, I actually used one of the dividers here that has this and what I did, let me just grab my MacBook, oh shit, I uh, put this on the bottom here just to give my laptop a little bit more extra padding at the bottom so it's not sitting at the bottom, not that it goes to the bottom of the bag anyway, but I just gave it a little extra oomph by, by using utilizing this extra uh, little pad that I don't use, so that's uh, what I do with that. Um, because honestly, if my laptop breaks or something happens to that, my, my whole operation is down here. So I can't have the uh, laptop going down. And when I'm on shoots and cat when I'm going out to like the city to do a camera, to do videos or vlogging or whatever, like I have some other film I haven't released yet, but um, I'm not going to be carrying my MacBook. That's generally for EDC, like going to work because I like to bring my laptop to work, uh, whether I'm just checking emails or, or uh, doing some little light video editing on my breaks during lunchtime. Uh, I just like to have it. Not every day I do, but the option is there and I don't have to squeeze it into a tiny bag. So right up top here, you're gonna see, uh, this is the charger cable for the laptop. And I keep that in uh, just a little uh, fleece liner case thing. And then here is VanQuest EDCM Huge. Uh, just opening this up, it's basically a little mini kit to this. It has its orange ripstop nylon. Uh, it's got the YKK zippers and this also locks which is pretty cool. So it's got these little locks on there so you can run this lock through so nobody can steal it. And you can obviously attach it to the backpack if you need to. But this is awesome. Um, this is my little just a little tool kit and just some power bank. Uh, well mainly just power, batteries and power banks and stuff like that. It's uh, And that's what this is dedicated to. I don't have uh, tons of stuff in here. But, um, you know, it's got a couple of things that I definitely need for my phone, for my computer, whatever. So, just a little tech bag. So then I have this little bag here. This is a Maxpedition um, bag, but it also matches everything really nicely. But this is where I keep my camera. I keep my camera in this when I'm not, when it's not attached to the lens and it's just the body. Um, and it fits in here absolutely perfectly. And I know it's kind of like a waste because it has all these little, little, little different, like, straps and everything but I like this because whenever I'm not using the camera it has different little pockets and stuff I can put the lenses and uh, up here I keep my um, my road mic in here and the cord for the road mic and 
you know, uh, the lens caps can go in here and just the uh, lens cleaner and the camera fits in there nice and perfect. And I really like this for my Canon M50, just the body camera bag. Um, at the very least, I can even strap this around me if I want to, just so I can have it not in the bag and easy, or I can strap this bag to the outside of the pack if I wanted to. There's just so many different options. That's why I also got like a more of a tactical type backpack. But anyway, this is the Maxpedition Daily Essentials. I've had this for a while and I just decided to turn it into the DM50's dedicated camera bag. Now, if I'm on an actual shoot, I'd probably just put another divider in there. The, one of the extra ones I have, it came with four. These dividers are what makes this bag. Now, I kind of wanted to try, wait for the Trident 31 or 32 to come out, which is the new one because it has some upgraded features like this is gonna be zippered right here and just some other uh, little tiny features. It's one more liter bigger, um, but whatever, this one's good enough. And it comes with these different dividers that turn into like squares and you can fold them any which way. So, but I, I think I could buy them, still use them for this, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, these uh, little dividers, I'd make that smaller and I'd be able to put the camera just in there with the lens and just pull it out and use it and start shooting with it if I need it to. All right, next at the bottom here is a, another VanQuest uh, EDCM Huge. This is more of a tool kit though. So let me lay this down and we'll take a look at this. All right, so here I have another VanQuest EDCM Huge. This one's in the Wolf Gray. Uh, I really like this uh, a lot, like yeah, just, Pretty much the same as this one, except this one here is dedicated to just tools. So on the back, I just keep some zip ties and uh, I have them on this little rubber band makeshift thing I made so they don't slide out of there because they will do that. And it does get annoying trying to maneuver freaking zip ties around your molly. So anyway, right here I have this patch and I put a slit in there because sometimes I'll keep a $100 bill in there just to hide it. Um, but I don't have any cash in there now. Right here, just a Pilot G2. This one also has the little locks too, like all VanQuest stuff does, which is why I like it. Opening this up, you'll see this is a lot of tools. I don't go anywhere without this thing. Um, you know, I've been using this thing for a while now like this, but uh, just starting over here, tied to go, another G2 pen, your Leatherman Surge, um, file and I also have a couple lock picks inside there. You can see I'm sticking out. Um, right here, I just have some extra razor blades for like my razor knives and stuff and razor blades. Uh, some bump keys, warded lock keys for more lock picking. Uh, a pry tool for entry. Multi uh, Leatherman uh, wingman. Right here, I just keep a bunch of like a condom, uh, which you would never be able to use on a female. Uh, it's moleskin, just some other junk. It's probably all just trash, but uh, actually there's some Gorilla Tape in there. I don't know. I just keep it around because you can use a condom for a lot of different things for survival. But inside here, I got a Fox 40 whistle, which I don't know. I just have a whistle. Um, not really any particular reason. I just have one. A rape whistle, whatever. Uh... This is a sill lock key. That's for opening water industrial buildings. So pretty good tool to have. Lighter with uh, Gorilla Tape wrapped around it. Then I have a knife sharpening uh, thing because you need to sharpen your knives. A Kent comb, razor blade, a, a AAA battery, a crescent wrench, and a spoon with a little pry tool on there, which I actually use this a lot to loosen and tighten my camera. So a lot of times you'll, I'll just have this thing in my pocket because all the tripod screws and stuff, that works really good for it. So I need to find something that I don't have to have a spoon in my pocket, but anyway, that's what I have. Uh, and then back in this uh, back part, I just keep a boo-boo kit, simple boo-boo kit, neosporin, band-aids, uh, just earplugs, burn cream, just different stuff like that. Because keep in mind, I work uh, around heavy equipment, heavy trucks, so always cutting your fingers or banging or getting burned into something. So. I keep that stuff around, uh, injury, injuries where I work and what I do, so uh, I keep a good medical kit around and we'll get into that, but that is this basic little VanQuest tool kit. So beyond that, in these pockets here, this just one up here, I keep um, the 
windscreen for the um, road mic. And I got some rubber bands in there as well, just in case it's blowing around and getting loose or just have rubber bands just in case. And that's all I keep in there. Actually, I, I threw the lens in there a few times too, but anyway, back here in this pocket, I keep uh, just an emergency food ration. This is 400 calories, just one little bar. So I just keep that in there just in case I get hungry. I try. I don't want to load this bag up with all different kinds of gear. Yeah, the idea was to try to keep a minimum amount of stuff. It's real easy to pack this bag out with all kinds of crap everywhere. So I just try to keep it real simple and carry what I need. You know what I mean? If I start filling up all these things, this thing is going to get real heavy and it gets bulky fast. All right, so back here in the CCW compartment uh, or your water bladder compartment, whatever you want to use it for, or you can even actually put and arm or soft armor back there so this thing will be bulletproof but I don't keep anything in there there's your uh, hook and loop right here and you can actually store your your firearm your concealed carry up there if you wanted to with a van quest of velcro uh, I use a different system for that you guys can check another video on that but I'll leave the link for it right here um, but yeah this is uh, a good good way if you want to off body carry which I don't really do and um, you know it is a good option though if I needed to do that um, and I didn't have my laptop if I had my laptop in here this is not an option because I don't want it putting pressure on my laptop in there so like I said earlier if that laptop goes down this pretty this whole operation is pretty much screwed all right up in this top area up here is where I keep my awesome journal this comes pretty much everywhere with me so especially if I'm going to work or whatever I'm always writing in my journal this is where everything comes in for YouTube my podcast all my everything goes in here so this is like my little black book of diary of life right here so and that's pretty much all I keep in there I got a Pico bill that I paid but you know that's generally what I'll do for that area just keep whatever I need for the day in there that's quick access stuff so now this top pocket which is a heck of a lot larger than the old top pocket on the Trident 20. Um, this one I was kind of debating on if I want to keep my firearm stuff up here or just whatever. I haven't really decided what to do with it yet, but so far I just keep, uh, just this is my daily essentials pouch right here because it's easy to get to. It's right up top. So this is more like what I've been using for an admin pouch. So just think of it like that. Just pretty much everything I'm gonna need to get quickly because it's always at the top. It's always, when I'm in my car or whatever, it's right there. Right up here, I just keep some uh, chapstick. This is the DCT. The only stuff better than that is Vaseline, really, in my in my eyes. But uh, I've got some um, call, um, Vicks Dayquil right here. So I always have that. Uh, a little bit of power cord just in case I need to tie my shoes or something. Uh, my Log & Jotter notepad book. I think this is from summertime, one point in the summer. I collect these, but I don't remember which month this one's from. But log and jotter, a pencil, and just a couple rubber bands. So this is just a dump, little dump pouch right up here area, which I've been finding a lot of use for, for just this kind of stuff where, you know, I don't really, it's not really organi organizable with the way it's laid out, that kind of stuff. So I just kind of threw it in there. I thought it was a perfect spot for it. All right, so this pouch, this pat, uh, part of the pouch up here, uh, it's got a zipper. The old one didn't have that, which is another plus too. Uh, it's a fleece line, so you can put sunglasses or glasses or even a lens up there if you wanted to, camera lenses or, or whatever, which is actually a really good spot for it. I just tend to use it for uh, gum. You always got to have gum. Uh, in my in my opinion, this is the best one, best gum you can get, the Trident, because it doesn't have that um, that chemical in it that ruins your teeth. That so I like the Trident. I forget what the chemical is. But anyway, uh, toilet paper just in case, uh, and a toothbrush. So I just that's what just pretty much what I keep in this little top area here. Um, like generally, why I did that because I want the main pocket area for just to be specifically for camera stuff, and that was it. I don't want camera things up here. I don't want to be digging all over the bag for different things. So that's why I keep it. This is the admin pouch, that's where my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff like that's gonna go. One thing that I noticed that was really cool about this bag was the option for the water bottle holder. On the Trident 20, you had to put one on there. 
So I, but I thought it was neat because you could use it for a tripod holder, which is basically how how I'm utilizing it. So this is it unzips and it expands or whatever. And uh, I just have my this is my EDC tripod. I'm not gonna walk around with my tripod that I have the camera on now, which is a lot bigger and it's it folds up nice, but not as not this small. And this thing is uh, really cool. This is the Joby. Uh, gorilla tripod. It's got a level. It's got a ball head. It's really well made. It'll wrap around trees and all kinds of stuff and different different things. So this is basically the one I'm going to carry. And I could even throw this in the backpack if I wanted to, or strap it to the outside and put something else over there. You know. So this bag has a lot of options. Um, if I like, if I wanted to carry both tripods, that would totally be very easy to do. If I wanted to strap this one over here the bigger one on the other side whatever it doesn't really matter i mean i could do so many different things with this bag which is pretty much why i bought it so now behind the journal pouch here you're gonna have a bigger kind of pouch air pocket right here right so in this area i just keep there's a big velcro thing here and i just have a sawyer water filter in here you can't it can't hurt to just have one of these around i mean it just it's not going to take up any room you just kind of threw it in there and uh, you know, if you're gonna have a bag like this, you might as well just throw something in there, survive, some some kind of survival item. Um, so this is generally my extra uh, extra ammo pocket and stuff. So I got three Glock 43 magazines right here. I just thought these little slots would work out perfect for these magazines. Of course, you could put them up here if you want it. I mean, I guess it would all depend on uh, what else I needed to carry on any given day. So back in this area, I just keep my Wolf Pup. This is by Tops. This is a great little EDC knife. Um, and even just a good little backup survival knife made in the USA. Marcata scales, little kydex sheath. I just kind of stuffed that in there. So I always keep a trauma kit of some sort in my backpack. I like this one because it's um, it's flat and uh, it's just real easy inside there. I'm not going to break this thing open. I'll make another video on trauma kits and stuff you guys want to see. But there's a rat's tourniquet in here, a couple chest seals, and just stuff like that. I do have a cat tourniquet and something like I'll show you in the end of the video. But I just keep that right here and it's fitting there nice and snug. I can uh, zip this thing up. Oops. And we're good to go. So the other last pocket here you have is the actual the admin pouch, but I use it for, uh, I have just a cat uh, SWAT tourniquet right here, flattened out, and it's in a Ziploc bag like this, just so it's easier to get out of there. And so it's, you know, because this ripstop nylon can get, it when it, you have a rubber tourniquet in there, it's hard to pull it out. So I have it in there like that, and you can just get to it real easily. Um, you know, a lot of you camera guys and tech guys might be watching this wondering why I have tourniquets and stuff and medical and trauma kit. Because I carry a firearm and I do armed security on the side sometimes. So um, it's important for me to have tourniquets and the necessary stuff I need in case I do get into a gunfight. I've never been in one. I never want to get in one. But, you know, you never know. When, if you carry a firearm and you power, carry the power to take a life, you should be able to carry the power to save a life. So keep that in mind. So that's why I keep tourniquets. And, and those are better in my eyes than um, the uh, rat's tourniquets, I think. Because you could use them, you could double those as a compression bandage. Uh, so one thing about this, this stupid keeper, they had this on the other bag too. Nobody, I don't think anybody puts their keys in here, but you know, maybe somebody does. Anyway, I have another notepad book because you can't get enough of these. This is another log and jotter. Uh, I just, a lot of times I'll just need to write down notes and I'll just keep this. But the Trident 20 had pen slots here. For your pens this one does not have that so there's actually no pen slots on this backpack at all which is kind of disappointing uh it's the one little critique i thought that was disappointing about it because i do like my pens but i just was able to keep a couple here and these are two uh one's a zebra pen uh 701 uh, rigged up with a fisher space filler uh and it's also all steel which they they make now but they didn't when i bought it so i rigged it up to one by just switching the steel on the back uh, but it does have a Fisher Space Filler. And then this one here is a actual Fisher Space Pen. And uh, this is a, a great little pen to have. Um, there we go. I forgot how it works. I thought it was like the uh, other one. 
the smaller bullet pen. But yeah, Fisher Space Filler pens, they're great to have. Uh, so that's really it for that. Oops. That's really it for all the pouches and little secret areas and compartments on this bag. Um, you know, it's just it's just an awesome, awesome bag. I always like making these videos so much because they're just they're just so much fun. I I love going over my bags. Um, and I, I slimmed it down a lot. Like I used to carry a lot of survival stuff type stuff in my backpack. Um, but I noticed that that's really pointless because you know now I have a dedicated bag for that, which is you see in the 511. Uh, this is just ED um, everyday carry stuff as far as tech goes. Like I really needed a bigger bag to carry my camera, my tripod, my uh, my extra batteries, power banks, tools, whatever, my laptop. So that is why I have this. And if you are looking for a bag to carry those kind of needs, maybe you're, you're, you're a YouTuber as well, or maybe you're just looking for a dope bag to whatever carry you, whatever you're into carrying, this is definitely an option. It's a lot smaller than the Trident 20. I know it doesn't probably sound like it, but 10 liters is a lot. Make sure you guys, uh, if you don't mind, you can catch all of my new podcast episodes on Podbean. I will leave the link for Podbean below. You can just download the app and you can listen to my podcast instead of like um, running them through YouTube. And if you don't have YouTube Premium, you have to run your screen on your phone or whatever. Uh, if you have YouTube Premium, I guess you're not worried about it because you could just turn off the screen and still listen. But um, anyway, if you don't, just go to Podbean. I would like you to do that anyway if you haven't. And uh, subscribe to Hard City on Podbean. They will be available on iTunes. I'm just having a little bit of trouble with the show art not downloading and it's not validating them for some odd reason. So I'll figure that out at one point today or tomorrow and uh, get the episodes on iTunes. But right now they're on Podbean and YouTube. So anyway, like I said, guys, please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.